everyone, it's me, Anne. Welcome back to HGTV Handmade. For today's DIY project, we are going to make some plate mats. And I was inspired by the beautiful fall foliage back in New England when I used to live there. I used to go and just take walks and hikes with my family. And we would just take in and appreciate the beautiful scenery. So for today's video, I'm going to bring some of that beauty into my home by making some plate mats inspired by the beautiful and colorful fall foliage. So let's get started. You are going to need some fabric. I like to use felt since it's surface safe for the table and it's also easy to work with. And you're also going to need some paper and a marker to make your template. Some craft paint, this is optional. If you want to add some colors onto your leaf, this is a great way to do so. The first step is to take out a big sheet of paper like this and fold it in half. We're going to draw a template and we're going to draw a leaf. Now you can make this into any leaf you like. I am going to just draw one of my favorite leaves and I took a, I went online and I looked at photos to kind of get an idea on how to draw this. So I would suggest for you to print out a picture or have a leaf right by you so that way you can draw this. Starting at the fold line, I'm going to start at the corner. And draw out my leaf. So this is actually half a leaf and then I'm going to draw my stem. I might make the stem a little bit bigger because this is a placemat. And if you need to fix anywhere like I think I want to make this wider because it is a placemat. I'm going to just fix this part right here. So I think that looks pretty good so far. Now with my scissors, I'm just going to cut this out. All right, so you should end up with something like this as your template. First step is to lay out your fabric and then lay your template on top of your fabric. I'm going to take my marker and just trace around the template. The reason why I'm using a marker is so that way it could show on camera but I would suggest for you to use something lighter if you're making this at home. Now it's time to cut out your leaf. All right, so I am done cutting. And this is my leaf. And this, you can either leave your mat like this or you can add a nice personal touch by painting it and adding on some colors. I want my leaf to look like as if it's changing colors. So I'm going to add and paint on some colors. I have here a sponge, a wet sponge, and a brush for the more detailed parts. Here I just mix some red with some yellow on my plate and then I add it in the middle of the leaf. And just kind of create a nice gradient effect. Kind of blend it in with the yellow. So now I'm just going to draw the lines in the leaf. 